Welcome to Class 1 Equipment. My name is James E and I'm going to be giving you a short demonstration of the EVG 420 Bond Aligner in overlay mode. So, first of all, I'm going to power up the system using the main power on button here and then the control power on here. I'm going to put the PC on here. And whilst everything is warming up, I'm going to just explain to you what I have here as far as tooling goes. So, I have the 6 inch ruler, the 6 inch load chuck, and over here I have the 6 inch bond chuck. The 6 inch bond chuck has on either side the bond clamps, and then it has separation flags right here. So, on the tool, we have backside um, objectives 10 times. We have a joystick control here, and we have a rollable mouse, a keyboard here, and a keyboard that we have brand new. We replaced the keyboard and we've replaced the monitor. That's a part of the refurbishment process. So, as we are warming up still, um, I am going to just install the load chuck. All I need to do here is connect this vacuum line and then set it on the tray here. Okay, so now we're onto the main Windows screen. I'm going to double click on the EVG 420 icon. And the EVG software will now start. You can see the serial number right here. And I'm going to log in over here. So the machine now is initializing. It's just going to all of its end stops and checking everything is working correctly. As you can see, the EVG420 is a tabletop system and it sits on a Newport isolation table. So the system has fully initialized and it's got that green OK here. So I'm going to open up the recipe window. And within this recipe window, the process I'm going to choose is anodic bond. I have these options here, top side, bottom side, and flood. All of these require a lamp house, and this system's lamp house has been removed. So we're going to stick with the anodic bond, and we're going to use overlay for this. And we're not going to use an exposure mode, and we're not going to change the contact mode. So I'm going to run and save the changes. So here we have a command line. This tells you either what's happening or what you need to do to keep the process running. So as the software starts, my first command is to insert the bond tool. So, I'm going to take the bond tool, I'm going to flip it over, and I am going to load this with the bond chuck top that side, and I'm going to have that on closest to me. I'm going to put the side closest to me in first, and then I'm going to pull it towards me, as it's got a spring ball bearing there, and I'm going to drop it into place. So, that is now in place and I'm going to hit continue. What happens now is these bars on the left and the right hand side clamp this bond chuck into position. So my next step is to lay, load top wafer with, with glass and ruler. We are not using a, a glass but we are going to be using the ruler. So here is the ruler in place. My wafer is loaded face down. Now I'm removing the ruler 
and the vacuum is holding the wafer in position so I can move the tray in and I know that my wafer is not going to slip. Now I might be asked to check my flags are in the out position so I'm just checking that here. So one, two, three, my flags are in the out position. These are my separation flags. So now I hit continue and the system does a wedge error compensation. Basically it brings the chuck and the wafer together and checks that they're pl plenarized, which means that they are completely level with each other. Now I'm being asked to adjust the microscope. I'm currently on the right hand side, so I'm going to adjust the focus. And I'm going to go to the left and I'm going to do the same, adjusting the focus. You can use the L and the R in the keypad here. L on the left and R on the right, or you can use here from left or to right here. So I'm now going to just move this so I can see my, right there you can see the crosshair, and I'm gonna to go to the left side, and I'm going to just make a small adjustment here, so that again I can see my crosshair on the left side. Okay, so now I'm going to hit continue. I need to make one more focus adjustment here. My left side and then my right side. And now I hit continue again. Now the overlay image is stored and I'm now asked to move the tray out, the tray which is holding the load chuck. As you can see, the wafer is no longer there. The wafer is now fixed and held with using vacuum onto the bond chuck. My next wafer is now loaded again in the face down position. And I'm using the ruler just to do a pre-alignment of the wafer. Remove the wafer, the, the ruler, and the wafer is held with vacuum, and I can move the tray in. Now I'm asked to um, pre adjust the, the bottom substrate, and as you can see now on the left hand side, you have this line. Um, this line is from the bottom wafer and now I would normally align my wafers if I had a pair that matched I would be able to align them as you can see my pair of wafers are not matched so I'm just going to put this back onto the left side and use my line as a reference just for this demonstration okay so there is my line my adjustments are okay. now I'm being asked now to insert the separation flags and I'm going to hit continue another wedge error is um, compensation is now being taken place now this is between the wafer, top wafer which is being held by the bond shark, between the flags and now the bottom wafer. So now I'm, um, I've been asked to adjust again. I'm gonna make a small adjustment here. And now I'm going to click this button here, which is the separation contact button. At the moment I'm in separation which means I have a small amount of room between the wafers so that I can make some adjustments. If I go into, click this button, it will go into contact and that brings the wafers together and I can see a small amount of movement here. I'm gonna go back out into separation again. You can see, you can see the movement. Just a tiny, very small amount of shift on that line. Very, very small amount. And I'm okay with the 
position. So I am going to hit continue. And now I'm being asked to clamp the wafers, which is here. I push down, I twist, and I clamp again on the left side. And now I'm ready to take my align pair out. I hit continue one last time. The process is complete and my wafer stack is held here ready to be bonded.